Hey, this is Emily. Welcome back to another episode of Startup Stories. This one is all about how my wild friend of a friend sparked a genius idea that changed the course of my business and made me a lot of money. Happy Friday night. Uh, I'm Emily Benson. I'm the Forbes and InStyle featured founder of Stylish and Successful and the host of the Booster, uh, the Booster Boutique podcast. What the hell? Oh, guys, you see my lip? It has been a journey just to get on this live stream. I'm going to be honest, okay? I was like, I really want to go on live. I really want to go on live. I cut my lip on the light stand. I had to plug things in. I like fell over. I hit my head on the light. So hi, I'm here. I'm going to very quickly share this over to my page. Hi, everyone. If you're joining me here live, say hi, please. Uh, I can see comments. So I have my trusty iPad just in case. And... We're going to talk about this. I'm really excited. If you're watching the replay too, check in. Tell me what kind of business you have. Uh, tell me where you're checking in from in the world. I'm right now in upstate New York, right near um, Saratoga, Saratoga Springs. So I'm excited to be coming to you live. Okay, it's Friday night. And what I'm most excited about this week is that the boost, uh, no, the, the boutique, <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> the Boutique Basics Boot Camp is open. The doors are open and they've been open since yesterday. I couldn't come on live yesterday because I had a zillion and one coaching calls. Um, but they're still open today and I need you to know that there are going to be some bonuses that end soon. They're probably not going to end at 9 because it's like 8 minutes to 9 on the East Coast. So they'll probably be open a little bit later than nine. Um, so I'm hoping that you will want to sign up for this course. It's going to be a great six weeks with me guiding you through creating your business plan, getting really a solid foundation with that business plan, everything from ideal customer to social media to how much inventory to buy. Um, it's going to be a really, really fun six weeks. So thanks so much for joining. Um, if you want to sign up for the boot camp, you can head right over to www.boutique basicsbootcamp.com. Everything, all the information's there. The minute you sign up, you get right in to our private Facebook group. You, uh, tonight, if you sign up tonight, you'll get two bonuses, which it's over three hours of recorded content that I've, um, taught master classes in webinars that I haven't, um, haven't released before now. So I'm really excited Sorry, I'm a hot mess. Okay, hi you guys. Oh my god, it snowed all day. Ashley in Minnesota, crazy. Hey, hi Jen Dennis. I'm right out Saratoga. Oh, you're in Saratoga. Um, we're in Argyle, Argyle, New York, near like Glens Falls. Um, so cool. Lindsay, you're brand new with Agnes Door. Awesome. Hi Jen. Oh, thank you. I'll just have to learn how to talk again. Thanks, Linda. Hi, Jen. Hi, Ashley. Oh, man. Um, Linda's with Andy. Awesome. Love it. Desiree. Hey, girl. Thanks for your email. Um, I sent her email in her inbox. Uh, so excited to finally catch me live. Yay. So excited, Katie Cope. Thank you. Um, so awesome. It seems like everything's working. Um, so, okay, so I've been doing this series of lives about stories from when I started my boutique. So if you don't know, I had two boutiques, two, kind of three, because I had like one for a little while. Um, so I had two boutiques. One was a mobile boutique and one was a brick and mortar boutique. Both were called the Fashion Truck. My um, uh, stationery store was called the Fashion Truck on Main. It was in the town that I grew up in. It was so cute and magical. Uh, and, but really I started with the fashion truck, my mobile boutique. And so I want to tell you about this time that I ended up bringing the truck like the first week. So if you watched my last video from the Hells Angels. So after we arrived back home from the disastrous time with the Hells Angels, not with the Hells, with Bike Week in New Hampshire, we arrived back home to Westford and uh, one of my, a friend of a friend, so like my mom's friend's friend was like, I need to see this truck. Like, what is this truck? I need to see it. 
So I drove it over to her house because like I was around. I was just doing, you know, I thought I was going to be at bike week all week. So I drive it over. She is a total little party animal, a total little spark of joy and sunshine. She's like running around the truck, having such a good time, like trying on hats, posing, making us take pictures of her. It was so much fun. So she has such a good time and, um, and we're literally just like outside of her house. I didn't pull into her driveway because like I was still in the way driving. So we're right outside her house and she's like, you guys. Like, I think that you should bring the truck. I'm doing this party for newly accepted people into this college that her kids went to. She was like the regional ambassador or whatever, the regional mom ambassador for this college. And she's like, I think you should bring it to the party. Like, it would be so much fun. And I was like, okay, great. When is it? So it was about three weeks later, I think. And so I was so excited. I was like, this looks, this sounds fine. She's fun. She probably hosts really fun parties, which it was a really fun party. Um, and like, why not? I had nothing else to do with the truck, right? And so I remember like being kind of nervous because I was like, what's going to happen? Like, I'm going to be there all day. This is crazy. Um, so the three weeks go by, she already had invited a ton of people. And I think she started calling her neighbors and saying like, hey, this truck is going to be at my house too. This truck, this truck. So I go, I remember so vividly, um, my mom came to help me set up. And sorry guys, I like split my lip open, literally getting ready for this live stream. But I'm here because I persevere. <laughs> persevere my now like speech impediment. Um, so I remember my mom, we like didn't know how to like transport things yet. Like some things were in the truck, like weren't totally finished. Like, we were still kind of figuring it out, but I was like, whatever, let's go, let's go. So I remember like having my mom hold racks that were all set up in the back. I was like, it was probably like not legal at all, but it was in the same town. So it wasn't that far of a drive. I drove really slow over to her house and my mom's like holding racks in the back. <laughs> total disaster because I stocked up on inventory right so we show up set up like all good we're all set up and slowly but surely like people came throughout the day and the feedback was just like so incredible like all these women were like this is so awesome they were calling other neighbors up and of course this other like college party was going on too so it was so funny and one of the things I realized during that day was that in my business plan I just thought you know, I'm going to go to markets, I'm going to go to festivals, I'm going to try to park on the street. But by going to this event and saying yes, which is one of my takeaways from this story is always say yes, if it's obviously safe and legal, always say yes to an event or a thing because you never know, you never know how it's going to turn out, right? So like, I'm sitting there being like, um, I could do this like all the time. Like it was free. It was fun, there was food, there was drinks, people were having a great time. It was something I could do like kind of by myself and it didn't feel overwhelming because there was a lot of people but it wasn't like at a market where there was like tons of people all the time. Like I could kind of manage it myself, which was perfect because I did everything on my own in my truck. I didn't um, have someone with me to come and like do all these things. You know, my mom came that day for a little while just to like make sure that I was okay and I think she wanted to see the party and like have fun. Um, so it was so great. So like, because I said yes, I'm just going to track my notes because I said yes. And because I like just followed my intuition was like, you know what? This woman's really fun. Like she has good energy and she's a friend of a friend. I'm going to go do this party. Well, private parties ended up being a massive chunk of my business. One year I did something crazy, like a hundred and like maybe 45 private parties or 145. I did a lot. Let me just tell you. And private parties were a huge chunk of my business. So I, the real big takeaway here from this whole story, and I'm telling these, these, these startup stories because the next group of people, this next program, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm this next group of people that I'm bringing into my course Boutique Basics Bootcamp, they're all new, right? You guys are all new that are in there. I see some people on here who've joined. I'm so excited to have you in there. Like, we've got a great group going. Like, I'm beyond excited. 
And um, what I think too, for you guys to know, is that I'm always gonna say like, say yes. Like if it's legal and it feels fun and it feels like something that's gonna be aligned with what you're doing, just say yes. Because here's the thing, that party could have not been that great. Like it could have, I think it was like a pretty good sales day, right? Like I, it was probably pretty lucrative just because I was in one spot and I didn't pay. But the deal is, is that I went on to take that idea and spin it, like build it. Like, okay, do I, you know, I've seen a lot of people, they want to like do food in their private party. Like, no, no. You know, I basically developed a system over the years so that anyone could book a private party. It didn't have to be just at a woman's house. I did it with corporate offices. I did it with hair salons. I did it, um, gosh, I did it with so many different kinds of people. And so many different things that it really like that was a huge chunk of my business and it was so great because the the you know I didn't have any expenses other than gas eating into my profit margin so you know when you go to a festival you go to a fair you have to pay to be there right but at these private parties I didn't have to pay to be there so my big takeaway tip and I wish I had my glasses but in this craziness of getting on just getting myself on live I'm probably sitting in my glasses um, oh, you guys, these earrings are so cute, right? I got them from Tickled Pink in Arkansas, uh, Tickled Pink Conway, and you can get them too from Tickled Pink. I think Stacey, you still have inventory, right? Aren't they so great? I think Stacey has other colors too. So if you like my earrings, you can get them from Tickled Pink Conway. So cute. Um, so yeah, don't say no to things that could be a good opportunity. Even if, I mean, it was kind of hot that day. It was the middle of the summer. I didn't have air conditioning. Like sometimes you will have to put yourself through a little bit of pain to get a lot of gain, right? That one thing got multiplied, multiplied, multiplied over and over to become something that was a huge revenue driver for me. I was just talking about um, my friend is going on a date tonight in this town that's like, literally in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> like there's literally one road in and one road out in Massachusetts. And I said to her, I was like, oh my God, I remember bringing the truck there. Like for private parties, it was like, took me so long because I couldn't drive fast on those back roads to get out into this like little beach town. So it's really important for you to say yes, show up and do your best, right? Always have a good attitude. How many of you, give me hearts, if you've been at a vendor event, you've been at something and it's just like, turning out to be kind of a bust, right? You're just sitting there like, uh, hi, Kaylee. Hi, Wendy. Stacy. Um, oh, good, Brittany. I'm glad you like these stories. I have so many stories. Okay, I'm getting some hearts. You've all been at events that are kind of a bust. So what do you do, okay? Because let me give you a tip on the back end too. So if you're at one of these vendor events, the most immediate thing I want you to start doing is... I want you to immediately start changing your mindset about it and start saying, this is going to turn out differently. Something's going to surprise me. This, this event is going to turn around and I don't know how, but this event is going to turn around. This event is going to turn out to be really good for me, right? So when you're at that event, if you have an event this weekend and it starts like getting kind of awkward at the beginning, you're like, oh, I don't know start to flip your mindset, okay? And start to move things around in your booth. Maybe there's something like, maybe you gotta switch up some merchandise. Maybe, um, I always think people put out way too much merchandise at their events. Maybe put some merchandise away and like let people see it. I always say like have a bin where um, people can see it open, but they're like, what's over there? <laughs> That's a pro tip for you. Mm, sorry guys, let me check in. Kaylee, I've been in business for three years. Should I wait for Six Figure Blueprint or go ahead and join the boot camp you have going on right now? You and Wendy think that. So Kaylee, so if you're on my email list, I did um, some Q&A this afternoon, some of my most frequently asked questions um, for this program. And I think if you've been in business for three years and you're pretty well established, I would stick with Six Figure Blueprint. I know it's not coming for another like six or eight weeks. Um, but yay, we have people signing up right now. This is so exciting. Um, wait, wait, I had this in an email today. Here we go. Okay. So what did I say? I'm going to read it right from my email because I want to quote it here. So someone asked, I'm confused. What's the difference between Boutique Basics and Six Figure Blueprint? Those are my two. Now I have two courses, okay? Boutique Basics Bootcamp is six weeks. 
it's Facebook Live trainings, and it's module workbooks and office hours. Six Figure Blueprint is 12 weeks. It's uh, group coaching calls. It's a really long workbooks, really in-depth workbooks, training videos, uh, tutorial videos, and office hours. So it's a lot more in-depth. It's a lot more, like, it's a higher price. So boutique... Uh, boot camp is for the woman who's just starting out in her boutique business, meaning she's probably spinning her wheels on a daily basis, not moving forward very quickly. Perhaps she's recently moved from direct sales or has had hiccups in truly getting her boutique off the ground. This is a low price program to get you accustomed to coaching and online coursework. Trainings are for the group as a whole and workbooks are for each module are less than 10 pages. Okay. I'm getting into some specifics here. Uh, okay, good. Cool. I love that, Kaylee. Six Figure Blueprint is what I'm calling a level two program for the woman who feels like she's a bit more on steady ground. She's open. She has some sales, a business plan. She's on her way and now needs personalized attention and advanced business and social media trainings. This is a higher price program to get you more personalized attention with coaching calls with Emily, your group coaching calls, and deeper, more rich coursework, video tutorials, and workbooks that are at least 20 pages long. Okay. I was on the phone with someone last night and she was like, I just finished my last Six Figure Blueprint workbook. We just finished Six Figure Blueprint this week. And um, she's like, it's so much value. She's like, you get so much for the price. It's crazy. And that's what I aim to do for all my programs. I want you to know that the investment is 100% worth what you're paying. Like you are, um, it's almost like you're getting more than you paid for because like I deliver value as I do on all these videos, right? I came on to tell the story and I'm like giving all these tips. Um, so I'm really excited about the people joining. I know there's a lot of interest in this program. Our wait list got pretty high for this program. Um, and so I know it's gonna fill up fast. I am gonna close the doors at a certain point where I have a max like limit that I've kind of set up in my head. I don't know if it will get there. I mean, I hope it does, but um, we'll see if it gets there and then uh, we'll go for six weeks together. We start next week. Like you, a week from tomorrow, you'll get your first workbook. And then we'll have our first Facebook Live training on that Tuesday. Uh, it's the 7th of November. So I'm really excited about it. So I'm going to leave the bonuses up for maybe another hour or two here. Um, just so we, because I came on kind of late and it's now 9.08. So I'll leave it up till 10, maybe 10.30. The bonuses, um, but like I said, you get two bonus webinars. Um... And one is a sales one, it's sell more stuff webinar. And then the other one is called boost your boutique webinar. And I think that's like more like six steps to, it's not six steps to six figures, but it's like six steps to having like an amazing boutique. So between now and next week when we start, you have three hours of content to watch of me that is previously, like unless you were with me back in January, back in November, it's good stuff that I haven't released until now. So I'm offering that as a bonus. If you sign up tonight, um, they're valued at over $500. So you'll get that for free. Um, it's a really good bonus. So, uh, Lynette, Lynette, um, I don't think that they're good for direct sales, Lynette. Um, give me like another week after this comes out. I actually, Ashley, um, took the boot camp called Fashion Consultant Sales boot camp, right? That's what we call it. Um, and that would be perfect for you. I'm not running that live right now, but I am going to be offering a self-study version of that um, in about a week or two. So Lynette, I would just wait. Make sure you're on my email list, Lynette. If you're not, just um, if you can send an email to our page or send an email to hello at stylishandsuccessful.com. Let's make sure you're on our email list so you can get info for that, okay? Because um, that's a really great training and uh, it's going to have eight videos in it just from me for it's four modules, eight videos, and then there's five guest experts and a bonus Q and a that's a whole nother program. Anyway, Lynette, I don't think this would be good for you if you're direct sales. It's very much for boutiques. Okay, cool. You're welcome. Okay. You guys, does anyone have any questions about the uh, boutique basics program? I'll just like, wait a second here. I cut my lip open. I got this new, I got this new ring light. Um, which my dad said the other night I was too washed out. So whatever, dad. Um, is it good for e-commerce? Yes, Wendy. 
um, boutique basics boot camp is for you if you have e-commerce you are brick and mortar or you are a mobile boutique um, because frankly it's almost the exact same business plan except one week one of the modules that we go through called your operations plan that's the one week where I'll split it up and it will be a little bit different uh, the training will be a little bit more geared to what you are but everything else to be very honest with you is like the exact same thing when you're starting a boutique business doesn't matter like you all need an ideal client you all need a marketing plan uh, you all need a launch plan you all need uh, what else do we cover let me just go through this really quick uh, you all need a launch plan you all need to have motivation and a good mindset you all need a great product assortment right um, the only difference will be week four, your operations plan. That's where we'll talk about what the difference is between the three, how you're going to operate your business, right? Emily, I still have to tell you that post I posted on my business page is still going. Oh my God. I looked, it was 1.7 comments and 30,000 people. You guys, Ashley did this like total. So uh, Ashley, I'll give these people the advice too. If you have a post that goes viral, so Ashley posted something about what's the food that you hate the most, right? She did it as an image post and uh, she had no idea. It took off so much. It must have gotten shared. It, had, it has 30,000 people reached. So she said, what do I do? Like, what do I do with this? And I said to her, the minute you have something that works on your business page, and I'm, ta I'm not talking, this can never happen in your Facebook group. This is why I say, I don't like groups. Because you can never explode like that <laughs> on, a, on a group. You can explode like that on a page. Um, and so I told her that she needs to immediately start doing Facebook Lives and start selling. Because what happens is, because so many people liked that post, um, her, whatever she does after that is going to show up in their news feed because they've engaged with her page. So she found an engaging post, which is what I talk about all the freaking time, have an engaging post, and that's gonna drive more traffic. So I keep telling her, do more Facebook Lives, sell more dresses. She sells dot dot smile dresses. I'm like, go sell all the dresses. <laughs> so exciting. Um, it's crazy, Ashley, it's so, so good. I'm so excited for you. Okay, Brittany says, what is the program for payment you use for processing the class? Kajabi? Is that what you're talking about? I use Stripe. I use, you can pay for the class on Stripe or PayPal. You have those two. I, I recently opened up PayPal as a payment um, on most of my programs. Some I can't hook up to PayPal. I, I can't figure out why not, um, to be honest. PayPal is very difficult for, to hook up to APIs for third party. Anyway, blah, blah, blah jargon. Um, but Brittany, yeah, uh, if you want to take Boutique Basics Bootcamp, you can pay um, with a card. Um, and it goes through Stripe, uh, and, or you can pay through PayPal, PayPal credit or PayPal. So hopefully that's your question, but we, everything in the course, every course I teach and actually, actually, or anyone else who's watching that did the fashion consultant bootcamp, I just moved all that content onto my paid member site. So you'll get an email really soon about getting your own password. Everything I do is, so a lot of people will teach classes in, in Facebook groups and, uh, it'll all be in there. But for me, I'll do some stuff in the Facebook group and then I will, um, where can we find my link to the bootcamp? Lindy. So it's in this post. It's, it's www.boutiquebasicsbootcamp. It's in the, if you click out of my video, you should see it. It's in the title of this post. Scroll down, Lindy. Okay. I don't know what's with the angry faces. I don't see them, Stacy. I, I, I kind of don't always pay attention. Um, <laughs> I can't always see what's going because I'm looking hard, like emojis come over here and like comments come over here. So who knows? Brittany. Yes. Oh yeah, Brittany. Yeah, so Brittany, I do take PayPal. Um, there's some hearts. Hey, Meryl. How are you, Marilyn? Uh, Marilyn, I went riding with Christine and now I want to ride horses. <laughs> it's so exciting. Uh, so what was I talking about? Um, oh yeah, so when you sign up for this or Six Figure Blueprint, either one, whatever you're into, um, you will get your own private member site, um, and you'll be able to sign in, all the content will be there, and the Facebook group will just do some of the things in, but you'll have con you'll have access to all this content for a lifetime, which means basically 
until I die or close this business, which either you'll close first or I'll close first, but I don't think I will. So, um, Jennifer says, if you click on the video, you can scroll through the description as well. Yeah. So the link is right in here. Uh, let me see if I can type it in. I don't have Holly on here. Yay you for writing, says Meryl. Let me type it into the comments. I just typed it in the comments. It should pop up in a moment here. It doesn't look like I've missed any comments. That's exciting. Okay. There's a delay. All right, you guys. So, if you have any other questions, I'm going to jump off. It's Friday night. We should all go do something fun. I'm going to catch up on some uh, TV shows that I'm watching. <laughs> um, but, like I said, bonus is end really soon. Uh, I'm going to keep them up until probably 10, 10.30. That's $500 worth of two webinar bonuses. Um, and Boutique Basics Bootcamp is for you if you're a brick and mortar, e-commerce, or uh, mobile boutique and you're just starting out or you feel like you really need help. Netflix, says Linda. I actually watch Hulu. I've been catching up on my Mindy project because I haven't, we were in Europe like all summer and you can't get Hulu there. And that's what has like Modern Family. I love Modern Family. I love Mindy. It's kind of like the only shows I watch. <laughs> kind of boring. Um, I do need to get on Netflix. Meryl, I really need help. So Meryl, you should check out the boot camp. I just posted the link. Check out the boot camp, Meryl. Um, you're welcome for the story, you guys. If you want, you guys email me. Hello. The Boutique Elite membership subscription. Yeah, you can stop. Yeah, you can cancel that at any time, Brittany. Guys, if you have more specific questions, just send us an email, okay? Hello at stylishandsuccessful.com so I can answer that if you have more specific questions or Brittany, you want to ask about can like hold, putting your membership on hold or something. Just, um, Send me an email, okay? We can check into your account and all that stuff. I I can't answer questions on Facebook Live because I don't I don't have anything. My computer's dead. I, I have to like jump on and do some stuff. Um, but send us an email. I'm gonna be on email tonight for a little while, okay? So feel free to reach out. We're here. Either Holler and I will answer usually within 24 hours. If we haven't gotten to your email, it's just probably because you asked a harder question and I I just haven't. So yeah, I'm gonna go ice my lip. That's what I have, this dinky, it's melted now. Okay, I'm gonna go ice my lip because I'm a total klutz. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you inside Boutique Basics Boot Camp. Uh, doors will stay open until next Friday, so it's it's okay if you're not really ready. If you're not ready to make the commitment, don't worry. Uh, doors will be open until next Friday, and then we start on Saturday. Yay! All right, ladies, thank you so much. Have a really great Friday, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.